Okay, so what's up guys? This is Zadrox in another video of the Completionist Theory. In today's video, we got Sven Slayer level 9, which was a really, really long grind, but along the way, we dropped a couple of cool things, leveled up some combat XP, some combat levels, we got some Skywalk XP, and most importantly, finished another part of the game that we'll never have to come back to ever again. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Yo, we just got our first red claw egg, which is our first like big RNG. I mean, we got some Kutcher runes before, but they are like half as rare. This is actually like a pretty rare drop. I feel like it's one third of the rarity as uh, for, as an overflux. Yeah, overflux is 1.2 million, and this is 410,000. This is insanely rare. We are, we're still trying to get our overflux, but this is still a big drop. I guess stuff keeps happening because we got a hound pet, which I did not think too much of at first, but then I realized it's my first one this entire challenge. So I checked the odds, and apparently it's 1 in 100,000. So that's a pretty rare drop, right? Like, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I just realized our uh, goblin pets are ready from the forge. Now they're worth way less than they were when I bought them, when I crafted them. When I started they were like 40 mil a piece. Now there are 16 mil, so we did lose some money on them, but uh, we can still sell them for quite a lot. I think I'm gonna keep one and sell the rest probably. Now actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell all of them for 16.5 million and then buy a level 100 one. Uh, okay, let's look for a goblin pet. Bam. And I want a bejeweled collar. Okay, so now we have a four um, a goblin pet, which is a really good pet for mining and uh, especially gold mining. And also we have uh, on our AH uh, 66 million worth of uh, goblin pets. So yeah. Okay, right after the egg, I believe it might be like two after. Yeah, two after two bosses after the egg, we got the Kutcher rune, which again is a very rare drop. I don't know what are the odds of finding it so close, but this one is a one in 440, which is like half as rare. As the egg, but it's still very rare. Like, yeah, that's really cool. Atrus has become mayor overnight. So now, not only do we have the extra 25% Slayer XP, we also have starting Slayer cost half as much and gain rare drop 20% as often, which is very good for us. Because that means we're gonna spend less coins and have a 20% chance to gain more coins. So yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so I forgot to do this. One second, actually, there's another boss here that's really annoying. Uh, I was just get, I got in the zone of doing bosses and I did not notice chat. Uh, apparently, not only did we get to combat uh, 54. We also, if we go far enough here, we got uh, Wolf there level 8. I don't know how I did not notice it, but we did get that. So let's just call Macro real quick, because apparently you can't do the method. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit. I don't know how I did not notice it. I'm really weird about that, but uh, yeah, we need, we got that. So uh, we get one speed. Uh, we lose 5% less coin on death. Uh, we get the Hunter Ring recipe and the Plasma Flux Orb recipe and we got a wolfer mixing in the bartender but most importantly 150 skyblock xp so we leveled up to level 301 and not only did we pass level 300 in this we also because we passed level 300 we got uh, the legendary book of progression which if we go into our accessory bag i believe yeah we can right click with it right like how do we make it yeah, we, now it's legendary. We got another legendary talisman, which is always cool. We put it there. Plus four scout XP. That is some pretty awesome stuff. That and the comet level 54 are both pretty awesome. So yeah, let's continue. Okay, we got another red claw egg, which if you don't know, is again, very rare. Like for you, it's probably like not a new thing. We like, it's, it went 821 and a... Uh, Overflux is 1 in 2400, so it is pretty rare. It's about one third of the rarity of an overflux. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see in the tab, we have max mage reputation, which isn't exactly related to Sven's, but it's still a pretty cool thing that I wanted to share. So, that is pretty cool. Okay, something crazy have happened. We have just dropped an overflux capacitor. That is, cr I did not expect that at all. I was just ch 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 chatting with someone in chat, and we just dropped an overflux capacitor. Oh my god, that is crazy. That is like 100 mil. Oh my, that's insane. Whoa, okay. We maxed all the wolf bestiary. As you can see, we're 4,000 out of 4,000. This is max. Like, we can, we're gonna get more of them, but we're not gonna be, a, be getting any more bestiary, which I think is a big goal. 
and worth recording so yeah okay we got four stacks of carnival tickets and we are actually pretty close to maxing out the carnival tickets for xp so i'm just gonna be doing all of these tasks and we need to get exactly 4,000 tokens to be maxed with that anything over that will be uh, for i guess masks and stuff but yeah Let's see, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, we did not go through all the token tickets, but I just really wanna do this. Uh, we got to 4,000 tokens, which is enough for us to max out every part of the shop. So we're gonna start with the mining, titanium tenacity, this is maxed, the fishing, uh, Ella's more brand, whatever that is, max, uh, Jerry, the professional gifter, max, and the spooky, we get the trick or treat enthusiast. Maxed, bam, we've maxed all of them. This is the entire uh, XP max, as you can see, every single perk in every single part of the store is maxed. Nothing to upgrade. And we still have like two stacks of tokens, but I don't really see when I'm gonna use it because. All the stuff from the mask shop you can just buy for like 5 mil or less. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we just got our 64th spirit rune and I think that's a big moment. Like that's a stack of spirit rune. Like the rarity of them is like, sure, it's not like the rarest drop. It's, but it's one in 15. So getting 64 of them, that's like 960 bosses on average. Which is pretty good. I think that's a big milestone. And the comet 54 right as we spawn. Like the same one but spawned it, got us comma 54. Okay, uh, 55, sorry, comma 55, that's awesome. And two more to go. Okay. Okay, now one more boss to go. Um, final boss, let's see what's gonna happen. Would it be something cool? And then level nine, the final one, three, Two, one, bam, Skybuck level 303, GG, that's been such a long time in the grind, but it's done, I'm actually kind of happy, GG. Okay, so now that we're done with all the clips, let's see how much money we've actually made. So if we go to this chest, we have had a lot of stuff, and I actually want to see how much we actually made, so let's start. Uh, this chest is filled with a bunch of furballs that are basically worthless, so I'm gonna ignore that chest. Here we have the critical six that are worthless, but the wolf diamond that actually are worth something, because if we can see here, the wolf ring is 700k on the AH, and you can craft it for pretty much like 50k plus the wolf diamond. So, we can value each of the wolf diamond at about 650k. So, if we do that, we have 19 times 650k. We have 12.35 million coins worth of uh, wolf talisman. On top of that, we have this chest, which is pretty valuable stuff. Uh, we're gonna stack everything, so we're gonna make it. We have 13 stacks of hamster wheels. Each one is worth, uh, let's say, 2.35 times. We said 12, right? No, 13. So 42.9 plus an extra 1.5 mil. Plus, we also got all these golden teeth. Uh, which we have nine stack of them each one is 5.85 mil and i've seen them go for like six six and a half mil but let's stick with the 5.85 mil times nine 97 million plus an additional 3.2 mil bring us to 100.25 million uh, but now for the big drop as you saw we dropped an overflux which is automatically an extra 95 mil um and all of these rooms which are not technically worth anything but I would like to try and mix them together because the tier 3 could be worth something. Also the 3 eggs that are like 450k. So let's do that. Uh, but yeah, I want to try and do a couple of things. So let's start by mixing up all of the runes, making them into a tier 3. Uh, let's, I'm going to just cut, do that and cut to the result. So now that all of the runes are done, we got... 9 tier 3 spirit rune, 1 tier 2 and 1 tier 1, and 1 tier 3 kucha rune and 1 tier 1. I don't know what we're gonna use them for, um, but we did get a lot of them. And as you can see, this took a while. And we got a lot of um, 
like awkward. Like about, about, if, if, if a large majority of it, like more than should have become a, an upgraded, had upgraded. Anyways, an important thing I wanted to do: take the overflux capacitor and use it to craft our uh, overflux power orb. Um, actually, what we're gonna do is just gonna buy a 24 of uh, redstone, um, which is like 650k. We already got uh, two stacks of golden teeth, so we can take it from here. And we already got a mana plus. I don't want to buy. Actually, I don't want to use a soulbound one. Just. Okay, Mana Flux Power Orb. I don't want it to be Soulbound. I don't know if it's going to be, but I don't want it to be. So just in case, we're gonna use this uh, in a way that is responsible. I believe that's how you craft it. Nope, I just, I just, okay. And here is the Overflux Power Orb. This is awesome. I've never had it before and I'm very excited to have it. Bam, that is awesome, it's now ours. We dropped the overflux and we still got it. This is awesome. We can just place it and it's, it's our thing. It's our it's overflux, which would be very helpful when we do like Kudra or if we go in dungeons or in Slayers. It could be very helpful to have, but yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notification. And until the next time, goodbye.